Hi. Uh, I poured two liquid organics into these SEP funnels, one into this separatory funnel and one into this one. One is hexane and one is one hexene. I think I forgot which one. We'll get back to that in a moment. Hexane, because of hex, it's six carbons. Because of A-N-E, it's a hydrocarbon with all single bonds. One telling us where the location is of something special. Hex, six carbons, and the E-N-E tells us we have a double bond. So after carbon number one, we have ourselves a double bond. Many chemists take a look at this and say it's an alkane, carbon single bonds to hydrogen, carbon single bonds to carbon. Kind of rolling my eyes going, there's boring stuff here. There's not a lot of functionality. There's not a lot of reactivity. As a matter of fact, chemists will often say all we do is burn these for heat. Over here, we have ourselves a functional group, a double bond, and we can do chemistry about that. So back to the separatory funnels. One contains the double bonded one hexene, and the other one has all single bonds. And I'll play the little game of I forgot which one is which. Well, let me go ahead and find out which one's which. I'm going to pour some bromo water. There's a little bit of bromine and quite a bit of water dissolved inside this uh, glass jar. So. A little bit of bromo water, which is bromine dissolved in water. And I, what I'm going to do is add a little bit to each one of the separatory funnels. So I'll add some brominated water to this one. And I'll add some brominated water to this one. So one of these will have a reaction, the other one won't, and we'll see a nice color difference. Hey, you can probably take a look at this and see that the brominated water is pretty heavy stuff. Bromine is very heavy and it's sinking to the bottom of these separatory funnels. And check this out. I could shake a little bit if I really wanted to, but you can see one is reacting and what's non-reacting. So over here, when we add Br2 in water, there's no reaction. When we add Br2 in water here, what's happening is bromine's adding, and uh, bromine adds once across the double bond. So what we're going to have is a little reaction arrow here and Br2. We're going to get rid of the double bond. We have six carbons in a row. The double bond has been, quote, knocked out, knocked out. The bromine adds here, and a hydrogen will end up adding here. And all the rest of the hydrogens that were here are still here. I'm going to just show these with little lines. And the reactivity of the double bond has been shown.